What's going on guys, Derek here, Southern Side Lawn Care. Today I'm gonna to show you why I swapped out and took my green touch rack off of my employee's trailer and added this two tier trimmer trap. Now, first off, I'll start by saying I love my green touch racks. That is what is on my personal trailer. Uh, but for their trailer, the issue we kept having was they wouldn't, on a green touch rack, when you lock the top, they weren't actually locking it. We had this blower fall off twice. Thank God I had my sticker on there. Somebody called us the first time and the second time I was there, saw it happen. I said, nah, we can't have that. So with employees, as you know, most of the time they're not gonna lock your stuff up. Uh, it's just part of it. You know, they're, they're not gonna treat your equipment like you would. Not saying I have bad employees, that's just how it is. I mean, it gets hot, people forget. But uh, I just said, I cannot be having that happening. So I swapped to these racks for a few reasons. It's one simple lock, pull it off. They can hang it right here so they don't lose it. But you pull this lever to, to open it. And when you open it, it opens the top and the bottom. So for some worst case scenario, they leave that rack open like that. These blowers ain't gonna fall off of that. So. And also, when they're out cutting, one lock does it all. So, very well-built system, especially in this tight area as well, because I can fit two blowers, one on top of each other. Bam, bam. Because what we had before, we had a green touch right here, and the other blower hung on that side of the trailer, which the rack is still there. But they would never use that one because it was on the opposite side. Uh, so these racks are definitely worth the money. Uh, it's a double blower rack. I forget the price on it. Post in the comments and I'll let you know what I paid for it. But to me, it just gives me a good peace of mind knowing that these aren't going to fall off the trailer. I mean, somebody may come by and steal them if they forget to lock them. But, you know, at the end of the day, as long as they put them on this hook, they're going to be fine. So that's why I swapped the green touch off of this one. My trailer still has green touch on it. And I'm actually going to take the one that I took off of this trailer and put on my trailer so I actually have an extra one. And one, and one other benefit to these over the green touch is some of my Red Max have the big filter on top. So you have to change the bar to the bigger bar if you want to change the blower. And that was the issue. We always swap blowers from trailer to trailer. Sometimes we have the bigger one on here. Sometimes I have the smaller one. It just depends on what's going on that day. And with this rack, it allows you to put any blower on here without any modifications. So, like I said, still love my green touch racks, but that is why I swapped them on this trailer. So maybe that'll help some of you guys with employees that are having issues with stuff falling off the trailer. And these things are solid too. I mean, they're well built. Uh, they didn't pay me to do any of this. You know, I'm just, I bought this out of my own pocket. Uh, so that's it, man. Still love my green touch, but these are the ones to run if you have employees. Because they ain't coming off of that. So, hope y'all like this video. Hope it helps some of you guys if y'all are having issues. Uh, like I said, a simple, easy lock. If they lose your lock, you know, you just go replace it. Uh, but yeah, and that's why I don't run green touch trimmer racks as well on my employees' trailer. Just simply because. If they forget to put it in all the way, in my opinion, with employees, I would use these racks. But uh, like I said, I'll show you my trailer and how I got it set up. But as far as this one, this is how this one will stay. All right, guys, this is my trailer. I love my green touch racks. The issue I was having, see, if you got a big one, you got to uh, have the big bar. You have a small one. You gotta have the smaller bar like what's over there, but I've got two on this trailer, so really doesn't matter. I can kind of alternate them. Uh, but they were not, I mean, I had these on top where it keeps it latched, so it wasn't that they were even closing it. They just for some reason weren't putting that in, and after it happened the second time, I had to make a change. I can't be losing blowers. And here's my four tier trimmer style rack on mine. See, this is the small bar I was talking about. Uh, but like I said, this thing. They were literally closing it and maybe trying, but just leaving it like that. And then this was coming open. And when they take that turn, the blower falls off every time. 
but if you do have these and you have the older ones you can put a strap there it brings it right back but anyway i've got the four tier hooked up on the outside i absolutely love these racks i will never get rid of my green touch racks but as far as employee trailer they are going to stick with the other ones so hope you guys like this video like subscribe comment i noticed a lot of people are not subscribed that are watching the video so hit that subscribe button appreciate it